When you're learning to code, one of the first advanced projects you'll probably do is networking. You may actually have an assignment right now where you're asked to send data from one program to another over the network. And for a lot of new C programmers, the Linux socket API is a little intimidating. Very quickly, after maybe recently only having learned to use pointers, for example, you'll now be asked to use the socket API, making calls to functions like socket, connect, bind, listen, all while making sure the input is clean and you're checking for errors all the way. This is not easy to do for a lot of programmers and there's an easier way to do it. In programming, power comes from abstractions. The idea of building layers on top of harder concepts so that you don't have to spend all of your time worrying what's going on under the hood. Today, we'll be talking about 0MQ or ZMQ a library in C that allows you to do Linux-based networking applications without having to actually use the Linux socket API. ZMQ is portable to a different variety of languages to include C, C++, C Sharp, and Rust, and allows you to do a variety of messaging patterns like pub, sub, and reply and receive that makes your code simpler and easy to write at scale. So let's get into it. Okay, so our example task today is to create a networking server and client that exchange the string low level and gang. The assumption here is over the network over TCP. We could do this in the normal Linux C socket API, but it would take us a fairly long time and I have to do a lot of talking about the socket API, how the different calls work. What we're gonna do instead is use lib0mq to do this with a lot less calls that looks a lot simpler to a new C programmer. The first thing we have to do is actually install lib0mq. There are different sets of bindings that you can actually get that represent 0MQ. The easiest one to work with, in my opinion, on Ubuntu is going to be the CZMQ bindings. We'll do sudo apt install lib CZMQ, CZMQ dev. Okay, I already have that installed, so I'm going to leave that alone. Let that install, and then at that point, you'll have the library installed on your computer that you can use later on in your code. We have the task here in our task.md markdown file. We're gonna start with the server, and I have kind of the scaffolding for the project ready to go. To include the library's header files, we have to include czmq.h, and that'll give us access to the functions that 0MQ uses to give us access to their socket API. If you ever get lost or confused, you can actually make a new window and do man uh, zsock. And this will break out the one, I don't like that it's only one, but the one man page for the socket API uh, for ZMQ. So that's pretty cool. So our task is to make a server and a client. So what that turns into in ZMQ speak is actually going to be a, a request and response schema. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a zsockt pointer called the responder. And that's going to be a zsocket that is of type ZMQ responder okay so what this does this actually creates our socket underneath the hood and now we have a pointer to that socket structure and then just like in any other server scenario we'd have to bind that server to a port so we have to do z sock bind we're going to use the responder and we're going to bind it to this port here and this is where it gets really cool right instead of doing all the crazy like setting up your structures and making them the right endian this we can just type out a string and say hey i want to bind to local horse lo local host port 5555 so that's pretty awesome and then we're actually going to get the error code back from this and what this function actually does is it returns the port number that we bound to so we could say if r is not equal to 5555 we will say print uh failed to bind to port easy and then from there now that we have created and bound our socket we're going to go into an infinite loop and receive things and send things back remember our task was to receive the string low level and respond with gang so we're going to start that right now so we're going to do while true it's going to go on forever we're going to use the z stir receive function and again this is going to receive from the responder some string pointer so we're going to say care message is equal to z stir receive and we're going to say if stir compare the message to low level so when it says not stir compare that means that they're the same we're going to send back z stir send responder and we're going to respond with gang boom and then we need to also regardless of what happens here we need to free the message and that's it so what we can do now to compile that is do our standard gcc stuff so gcc tac o server server.c and we have to link in uh czmq and there we go boom so the server is set up and if we do this 
we will say that we failed to bind to the port. So what's happening there? I wonder why that happened. Hold on, let's find out. Oh, it doesn't like localhost. Let's change that to star. There we go. So don't do localhost, do the star there. Okay, so now that we fixed that, we have this thing listening. And in theory, we can connect to it. But the problem at this point is that our server is not speaking standard raw TCP. Our server is speaking, the messaging is a custom ZMQ implementation over TCP to kind of handle the namespaces of the ZMQ messaging uh, setup. So instead of just connecting to it with Netcat, I have to make a second program that we're gonna do in client that sends the server low level. So let's do that. So same thing as before, we have our scaffolding here, CZMQ in the main function. And just as before, we're gonna do a uh, ZSOC T, it's gonna be the requester, it's gonna be a pointer type, put the pointer here. And we're gonna say that it's equal to a zsoc new and it's going to be of type zmq requester not replier remember the first one was a replier or a responder this is a requester so that's again messaging scheme is request response so we are now in the client we are the requester and then cool so now all we have to do instead of any binding or anything like that we just have to connect to our server and send up data zsoc connect with the requester to this area here, so TCP 1270, or we'll do uh, localhost 5555. There we go, so this will connect to this area here over the ZMQ uh, TCP protocol. And what we can do is we can say zster send to the requester the string low level. And then after that, we will sleep for one to make sure that we wait for the server to respond to us. So we could say, care stirs equal to z stir receive and it's going to be from the requester and then we're going to print that out and it's going to be the stir so hopefully if we run this and we connect to our server and get data back it'll be just the the word gang so let's test it out real quick we have the server running here we're going to go into our other window and we're going to do gcc tac o client client.c tac l czmq to link in the uh, message queue library we're gonna run it and we got gang back. So there is one issue here that we didn't actually free any of our sockets. We may actually see that there's an error here as well. So actually the server is serving infinitely. This one will not turn off, but this one is going to have issues because every time we run it and it ends, the socket is left dangling. So what we have to do there actually is do a Z sock free on our requester. So we're gonna do that. And we're also gonna put this on the server side at the end. And we're gonna put it on the responder. Cool. That's what it was. Zsock destroy. And again, all these functions are available in the Zsock API. I'll link that in the description below. Go check that out. And also it needs to be the address of the thing. So not just the thing itself, but the address of the pointer. So at responder. Again, we'll compile it, GCC taco client, client.c, and link in the CCMQ library, and we'll run this, and we get gang back, and that is it. Lolo again, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you learned a new kind of a fun way to do networking in C. C does not have to be hard. Networking does not have to be hard. I would say don't skip learning the networking API. Go learn that. But also use libraries like this to abstract away the harder concepts and make your code a little cleaner. So if you like that, hit like, hit subscribe, and go watch this video that I think you'll like just as much. Take care.